teams, BMW Sauber, Toyota, Red Bull Racing, all teams that would perhaps not expect necessarily to make it into the top 10 at the end of this 15 minute session. We've had just over five minutes of it. We're riding on board now with the Ice Mac, Kimi Raikkonen. Down to turn three. Plenty of reference points here for your braking. And uh, you're just going to see the front sliding a lot, I think, until the track comes. Yeah, he's got armfuls of lock trying to get it through the court. This is super fast. Full throttle through there. 19,600 revs before he chooses to shift the gears. Oh, so early on the power. そして今1967年に満頭をトップで駆け抜けたゼッケン7番の優勝者は当時のままの走りを維持しながら大切に保存されている。dominated Formula One for the past five seasons, Michael Schumacher wasn't finding himself at the top of the timesheets. The Ferrari package was off the pace, the new car was neither fast nor reliable, and the solitary bright spot was Imola, the only race of the season where Ferrari were truly competitive. Even then, they couldn't beat an immovable Alonso. Amazing defensive driving by Fernando Alonso! Yeah, unfortunately, I, I put that down as the low of the season because I was uh, running, I think, 18 seconds behind Second lap, 
Sandman going to catch his head. So he's uh, one of the elite, so he would just position his car in, in such a way to make it difficult for me. And I think that at that point, remember, it was uh, the best race that the Ferrari had had so far that season. So Michael probably wouldn't want to risk too much to the sake of uh, trying to get one more place, even though he was winning the race. Uh, but Alonso has really shown what he has as uh, Rosberg does a little bit of motocross, ran across, I mean, up on the grass. And this is what we're talking about. He was worried about not finding the nuances and the breaking points of this racetrack. And this is a huge test now for Nico Rosberg. He's yet to set a time. This is his first flying lap, and he's being a little bit ragged, Martin. Larry, absolutely Larry. He scared me going to turn one. I don't know how it felt from where he was sitting. It didn't look too good from here. But uh, Rosberg, he's, he doesn't lack any uh, commitment, does he? That's for sure. Bit of traffic ahead. And uh, let's see if he's going to calm it down a little bit as the lap unfolds. Yeah, you see how much later he was on the power there than Raikkonen as he waited for the front end to stop sliding. Montoya's gone second fastest on a 25.9. Look at that, he's a second and a half adrift. Rosberg under pressure, really, for the first time this year, James. He is. He's going to probably have to go for a second flying lap here. In the first session, we saw the Bridgestones were giving their best time on the second flying lap. And this has been a scruffy one from Rosberg. He needs to regroup here. And as he goes across the start-finish line, just think about a tidy...